I've ended with that very curious decision to go for it on fourth down their own territory. Well, I just wonder what McClain gets the sack. What a good scheme that time by the defense. They confuse the offense. They blitz. They don't know who to pick up. And how about the defender? They must love this. Coming in free and gets a good clean shot on the QB and gets a sack. the screen did not get both feet down third down now over to Witten with the reception he's going to be brought down and that's going to be a three and out for this offense this team one of the better tackling teams in the NFL and they play the situation perfectly they give up the short completion they come up and make the tackle. Now we have a fourth down. Looks like they're going to run a little wildcat here. Here we go. Grand 38. Grand 38. Got a flag down here. Trying to find an opening to the right. Cars there to make the tackle. The Cowboys defense probably thought there is no way the other team's going to go for it on fourth down when they're backed up inside their own territory. Well, they were wrong. The offense went for it, and they came through with a good stop on the defensive side. The Cowboys elect to go for it and bypass the punt on fourth down. The Cowboys get set at the line, needing to get to the 30 for a first. Thought about it. Still has it. The Cowboys roll the dice and pick up the first on fourth down. Yeah, I like that analogy. Roll the dice. Sometimes you got to take a chance and hope it comes up seven. Well, I don't know about the seven, but they pick up the first down. First down at the 50. Romo's taking off, and he's forced to the ground. Almost to the 40 at the 39-yard line. The Cowboys' defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Takes it from the gun. Running room. I think it's important for the defense, anytime it's a third and long situation for the offense, to know where those first down markers are, give a little ground, and make sure you're able to come up and make the tackle short of the first down marker. Third down. Two-minute warning. Play number six coming up on this drive. Third and 12 to go. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. I think as time has gone on, more and more coaches and teams, we see them going for it on fourth and short. But this decision, you're, you're winning the game, fourth and short. You're near midfield. I don't think you go for it. Don't let the pressure of the fans or your players get into your mind. Put the football away. That's the right decision. The Cowboys take it from the 43. Castles. The Cowboys turn the ball over on downs. There's a couple ways to get to the quarterback. Run over the tackle or run around him. It doesn't matter as long as you sack. First down at the 47. It's intercepted. He's brought to a halt. And with that pick, it looks like the first half will end just the way it started with this defense dominating in all aspects. This defense has some attitude, don't they? Uh, they play fast, they play hard, and they just dare you to throw the football. Well, the offense finally did it. They took a chance, and they paid for it. Got hit on release. 
Good job that time by the quarterback avoiding rush gets outside the pocket. He keeps the play alive. Nobody open. So it's just another incomplete pass. Second down following that incompletion. Castle's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Scrambling out of the pocket. Beasley has the grab. Well, but there's under two minutes to go. Good job by the offensive uh, ball carry that time. He knows he can get no more yards. He steps out of bounds to stop the clock. The Cowboys will set up. The 44 is the first down line. Witten's got it on a pass that had some heat. Ball is out. They recover their own fumble. One thing coaches hate when their offense is on the field is fumbling the football. Because a lot of times, it's just bad fundamentals. But they're lucky this time. They had the fumble. They're able to get on top of it. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. And the flag is down. Defense was trying to guess the snap count, and it cost them there. The Cowboys know once they get inside the 20-yard line, you have to be able to run the football also. They can't be pass, pass, pass all the time. The offensive line comes through, good solid run that time. Underneath, but can't find a mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. They step up to the nine-yard line. Dropping back now into the shotgun. Intercepted. Going to take it the distance. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. Hey, how about that touchdown? You're down seven. You're on defense. You go to heck with it. The offense can't get it done. So we'll get it done on the defensive side taking it back for a touchdown now we have a tie game the Cowboys setting up for the kickoff and he's tackled just past the 20 will mark it at the 22 yard line the Cowboys will try to hold on to the football this has been one big turnover after another Phil just what the coaches talked about in our meetings with him this week about ball security. It's not happening here. Well, it tells you the uh, players did not listen to the coaches, that's for sure, because ball security is not what we're seeing out there. I know this. Next week in practice, there's going to be a lot of drills about hanging on to the football. We're heading to the break with both defenses winning their side of the ball. We've got a game at the intermission, and Larry Ridley's coming up with the highlights. And a touchback here. Bring the ball out to the 20. The Cowboys were moving the football the last time they had it, only to give the football away on the pick. Let's see how they do it this time. Yeah, you know, that's a tough situation for the offense. You get a little confidence and you're moving the football, and then the turnover just changes everything. So you got to find a way to get your confidence going again. It's incomplete. Well, there's no doubt about it. This guy has a strong arm. That time, he just sails the football way past the receiver deep down the field. Romo lines up in the pistol. Second and ten. Launches it down the field. Makes the play. That's reception number two for him. I tell you, Tony Romo can really unleash a long ball, as we saw right there, Phil. Yeah, he can, just like his golf game. He can hit it a long way, too. But Tony Romo, everything he does, he makes it look so easy. He has great rhythm, and that's one of the reasons why he's an accurate downfield thrower. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Got the catch one-handed what must it be like to be able to go down there